Hey everybody, welcome to the Bullseye Channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the new star of the channel. That is the Pardini SP22. This one's the rapid fire version in green. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you the secret that lurks within this beautiful Italian stallion. But before I do that, I'm going to give you the three rules for life. Rule one, don't be a jerk. Rule two, take care of yourself. Rule three, help other people. So let's talk a little bit about this. If you haven't seen the prior video, I'd really ask that you go check it out. Uh, this is a Pardini SP22. It is essentially the de facto pistol that is used in the rap and excuse me in the Olympics in the men's 25 meter rapid fire. And for Lee. On the podium. In the women's 25 meter standard pistol. The clutch. Uh, events. It is a really beautiful marvel of uh, engineering, but in it lurks a secret. And that secret has to do with how it basically eliminates or heavily dampens recoil. So what we're gonna do is that we are gonna get this thing on the table and I'm gonna show you the secret that lurks within this. All right, so here we go. We are down there looking at this beautiful Hammerly SP22 rapid fire high tech in beautiful green. So let's go ahead, let's get under its skirt, so to speak, and let's see what secrets lurk beneath. So this is as empty chamber indicator in here. So I just want you to make sure that uh, I'm gonna point it this way. And this is what the front of it looks like. Uh, and I actually have two of them. And this is the bullseye version. Um, but up front, they look exactly similar. Kind of a pretty cool uh, system here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're just gonna take this front uh, cap off. And uh, I'm gonna probably speed this part up. Let's go ahead and do the big reveal. Ah. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, one spring, two spring, three spring, four spring, five spring, <laughs> six spring. And in there you can see the weights. So let's go ahead. Whoosh. And there you go. Six tungsten weights. Pretty cool, right? And they would essentially be in this state, probably more like that and compressed. And as the recoil goes back, because these cylinders are free moving in there, during recoil, they would compress and they would dampen the recoil impulse and keep the uh, firearm flat and get you on to your next target in the Olympic rack of fire discipline. And then you lift the pistol, it's called a lift. You come up and you shoot your first shot target one, and then you shoot one shot in each of the five targets. So there you go, that's kind of what it looks like on the inside. How cool is that? And you know what, why don't we do the same thing with the bullseye model? All right, here we go. Ooh, ah, again. Now let's bring out the weights. There you go, six weights. So we can put this here, and these are substantially lighter, but let's see how much. I think they're about, All right, so there are the two. This is the steel that you would find in the bullseye version, and this is the rapid fire which is made of tungsten. Let's go ahead and let's get a measuring. All right, so let's go ahead and weigh these. All right, so first we'll go ahead and I will start with the steel. Two hundred and twenty grains. And then the tungsten is 422. So you can't really see that, sorry. You're gonna just kind of take my word for it. So yeah, about twice as heavy. All right, so I'm gonna get these all put back together and let's continue the conversation. So that was pretty cool, right? And you might be saying to yourself, well, but that's like a $3,000 specially tailored 
Italian, super refined pistol. I'm just a guy who's got a Glock or maybe I've got a other target pistol, you know, and I want to have the same effect. How can I get that? And the answer is with one of these. So basically what we just looked at is <laughs> this encapsulated in this little device right here that attaches via Picatinny. So if you had a Glock 19 or if you had a 1911, as long as it's got a pick rail, you could actually add one of these recoil mitigating systems. I can't promise it's going to eliminate recoil on, especially on higher caliber. I've personally used them on uh, 1911s and bullseye pistol, and they definitely significantly reduce uh, the it's sort of like time that it takes after a shot, the recoil, and you get back on target a little bit faster. But this is a recoil mitigating device by Dane Hogle Technologies. Just Google D-A-N-E-H-O-G-L-E -E Technologies, and you will be able to get one of these. And it's the same system, and it's got, except it's got individual cylinders here. Uh, and in here is tungsten and a spring. I've got this one attached <coughs> to a Hammerley 208S. Uh, this is not a 28S, sorry, Hammerley International or Hammerley 208. And uh, if you're interested in the Hammerleys, I would just ask that you check out uh, Jared's video that he just did on one of these over at Jared AF. So anyway, thanks for visiting. Really appreciate you guys making this channel a home for interesting things like this. Stay tuned. We'll be doing some extra videos. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the beautiful Pardini. Uh, I think I'm going to shoot this and maybe we can do a recoil video so I could show you it in slow-mo. But it's pretty cool. And then somebody asked, hey, what's this thing up on the wall? Uh, that's my Remington 40X. And I'd be happy to uh, do a video on that. So anyway, old hard shoot straight. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.